Hey friends, welcome back to Philemon Math Series. Today we are going to solve a question from Olympiad Maths and it is inequality. So we have that 1 over absolute value of x minus 3 plus 2 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. So we are looking for the values of x for which this inequality is satisfied. So it's important that you take note that what we have at the denominator here is absolute value of x minus 3. So because of this, we are going to consider two cases. The first case we will consider is case 1. We will consider the case where x is greater than 3. And if x is greater than 3, it implies that x minus 3 is greater than 0. And since x minus 3 is greater than 0, if we substitute it into this absolute value, we will have that absolute value of x minus 3 will be equal to x minus 3 since x minus 3 is greater than 0 the absolute value of a positive number is always positive we will now have 1 over x minus 3 since the absolute value is the same because x minus 3 is greater than 0 plus 2 over x minus 3 less than or equal to 5 the LCM here is x minus 3 and since the denominators are the same, we add the numerators, we have 1 plus 2 less than or equal to 5. So we we'll now have 3 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. Because x minus 3 is positive, we can multiply through by the denominator, which is x minus 3. So if we multiply through by x minus 3, x minus 3 will cancel x minus 3, we are left with 3 and here we have 5x minus 3. Let's open the brackets, we have 5x minus 15. So we add 15 to both sides, we have 3 plus 15 is less than 5x. So what we have here is 18 less than or equal to 5x. We can divide both sides by 5 so that we then have x x is greater than or equal to 18 over 5. Let's now consider the second case. The case where s is less than 3. So case 2 s is less than 3. If x is less than 3, it means x minus 3 is less than 0. So this implies that x minus 3 is less than 0. And if x minus 3 is less than 0, the absolute value of x minus 3, the absolute value of x minus 3 will be equal to minus x minus 3. Yes, you always know that the absolute value of any number is positive. So, if x minus 3 is a negative number, the absolute value of x minus 3 will be minus times that negative number, which will not end up being positive. So, the absolute value of this is minus x minus 3. So, let's substitute it here. We'll have 1 over minus x minus 3 plus 3 plus 2 over x minus 3 less than or equal to 5. This minus, whether it's at the numerator or denominator, they are both the same. So this is minus. So the LCM remains x minus 3. And since the denominator are the same, we add the numerators. So this is minus 1 plus 2, which is less than or equal to 5. So that we will have minus 1 plus 2 is 1 over x minus 3, which is less than or equal to 5. This is where we have to be extremely careful. Now, x minus 3 is less than 0. So because x minus 3 is less than 0, if we multiply both sides by x minus 3, this inequality will change sign. So we will have x minus 3.
inequality will change sign to be x minus 3. Inequality changes sign because we are multiplying both sides by a negative number. Because we are told that x minus 3 is negative. So we have 1 is greater than or equal to 5x minus 15. Add 15 to both sides, we have 1 plus 15 is greater than or equal to 5x. And this is 16, it means 16 is greater than or equal to 5x. So if we divide both sides by 5, we will have that x is less than or equal to 16 over 5. Now, we already consider the case that x is less than 3. And we are now seeing here that x is less than or equal to 16 over 5. 16 over 5 is approximately 3.1, which is bigger than 3. So it means that x is less than 3, which is less than or equal to 16 over 5. So we definitely consider this. We definitely consider x is less than 3. Since x is less than 3, it's a subset of x is less than 16 over 5. So therefore, X, our solution will be s is greater than 18. S is greater than or equal to 18 over 5. And x is less than 3. Of course, 18 over 5 is bigger than 3. So we'll consider 18 over 5 and not minus and not 3. And not s greater than 3. So combining these two, s is greater than 18 over 5 means 18 over 5 to infinity. s is less than 3 means minus infinity to 3. Therefore, our value of x is a minus infinity to 3 union 18 over 5 infinity which is a that's the correct answer thanks for watching see you in the next video bye